Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an amazing actor who you've seen all over your TV on Chicago Fire, Ambitions, and Scandal, honey. He has been very busy, in the words of Miss Quad. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. Mm -hmm. And now he's in a new movie called Dear Frank. Let's take a look. My dearest Beth, my life truly began when you said yes to becoming Mrs. Frank Jones. Happy 20th anniversary, my love. Frank. My goodness. That's really something. Please welcome Brian White. Yay! Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi, Brian. How are you? I'm well. How have are you? a seat, have a seat, get comfortable. Sit down. Well, I just gotta point out, you don't mind if I point this out. Good. Well, Thank you can Thank point that you. in it. Shout out to my wife for styling me. Thank okay, she did a thing She today. did it. Mm -hmm. And I like the brooch. Yes. Thank you. I like the Not approach of the brooch. No. You were right, baby. Yes, she was. You're Absolutely. never too much down to the circle. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate but you. But speaking of a lot, yes. an abundance of plenty. You were nominated for an Emmy, oh my God. Such a blessing, such that a blessing. That is so awesome, and this is your first nomination for Outstanding Leading Actor mm. in a Daytime Digital Series. Yes, Bronx mm. SIU, shout out to my castmates, yes. uh, Shanti Lowry and um, uh, Amir Bakara were also nominated, congrats to them. How does it feel mm. to, to be nominated for an Emmy? Uh, it's, it's, it's an honor. It's an yeah, honor to be yeah. recognized for your work. You I mean, that's yeah. not uh, that's not why we do the work, but mm -hmm. it's such a big honor. To yeah, be absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Dear Frank, let's yes. just go right to it. Oh, Frank, that was electrifying. Yes, uh, was. lots of drama, uh, mystery a little bit. What's going on with the movie? We see that your wife dies in the beginning. Yeah, it's a, a dark, comedic thriller. Mm. It's a hybrid. There's a lot going on in this movie. It's very entertaining. It's uh, about a couple that's been married for 22 years. Mm -hmm. um, on the eve of their vow renewal ceremony, the wife drops dead. Mm. Oh my uh, God. Played by Claudia Jordan. She's mm -hmm. amazing in this. Mm -hmm. um, Columbus Short plays my brother. He's the town detective. I come to find out she was poisoned. Wow. And everyone that was at the party it's is a suspect. It's a suspect. Mm. It was a little mystery. In the future, mystery. I find I like her that. diary as I'm cleaning out everything, trying to move on, and it uh, details all of her affairs Ooh. during our oh relationship. God. And I have to follow her diary like a trail of uh, breadcrumbs. To my say. God. You your heart broken. Yeah, with I a know. broken heart. I was having a time. <laughs> my God. Now, you and Claudia have known each other since you were teenagers. Did that make it easier for you to get into this role? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, this couple's been together since they were in high school. Oh, okay. And Claudia yeah. and I have known each other since we were young. And she mm -hmm. brought the script to me. She's awesome. also a producer on the project. That's a good script. Go ahead, yeah, Claudia. Yeah, it was a great script. And uh, so it made it very easy to be very familiar and to actually know each other. So I yeah. had thoughts yeah. of what Claudia and I looked like. Like, you yeah. know, as friends back when we were kids. Right. And uh, so that's that's what the basis is of these characters. Mm. So as you said, following Brett Crumbs, because she's been very busy. She's been very uh, busy. Uh, <laughs> you know, as her husband, how you, you don't even get an opportunity to feel sad or right. mad or angry because you got to get on that trail to find out who poisoned her, right? Yes. How are you going to take revenge? Uh, well, I don't want to uh, give any it. spoilers. Uh -huh. gonna take, we're going to handle things one at a time. It. We're going to eat each each crumb of bread at, at one time uh -huh. and, and make sure all those crumbs are gone and my wife's plate's clean. Do you, mm. But you really wanted to take revenge out on her, didn't you? I mean, uh, I mean, he's not a, a violent man to Was begin she? with and he's not an abusive man, but uh, there's a lot of things that have happened along the way, and, and Claudia's character, her name is Beth in the movie, mm -hmm. has, has been taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And I think Frank, he wants to defend her honor as much as he wants to erase all the bad things that have happened to him. That's fair. Now, you co ep and directed this movie. Were there any points in the movie where you were like, no, let's let's switch that up. <laughs> Let me try this again. You know, was it was it hard being like, okay, behind the camera, then come in front of the camera, behind the camera? What was that like? Yes. Uh, uh, shout out to Josh Weber, who's an incredible director. He's made a, a, several of his own films. He's the, my co-director on this. Gave me the opportunity. Um, it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time. I've mm -hmm. been writing for about 10 years. I've written maybe 12 scripts. Mm -hmm. uh, was uh, blessed to be a part of writing some of Ray Donovan uh, last season, mm -hmm. some of my I stuff. I love Ray Donovan. It's um, and uh, came into this and it was a, a truncated script. Uh, yeah. Indie films, sometimes you have your whole story there, but it needs a few more pages. And, yeah. and Mike Montezer and Josh let me let me Get fill in, in a little bit yeah. and uh, then direct. Um, Josh helped me 
and uh, I helped everybody else, and it was a, a wonderful experience. All right, that's all right with me. So where exactly can we find um, the tour? Because you're the, on tour right now. Tonight, 7 p.m., <laughs> Regal Hollywood Theaters. It's a free screening. Everybody come on out tomorrow at the Georgia International Congress okay. Center. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. If you're going to be here for the whole hour, he's still going to be with us. We're going to the table, so stick around. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with actor Brian White, who has been just doing his thing for quite some time. Absolutely. And we love when we had a little, a little bit more time with you so we can get it all yeah. in your business. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Well, let's we've do. already kind of figured out a little something. You have a, an adorable little girl, and she's <laughs> absolutely amazing. Some kind of way she got into your wife's makeup. Oh. oh, Bindo. oh wow. <laughs> it's happened. Uh, uh, my wife uh, makes hair and beauty products for a living. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. And uh, my daughter is, uh, she, <laughs> she wants to be my, my wife. And so she was, she was playing one day and uh, she started doing her eyebrows. And my wife started filming and, and she said to me, I was like, baby, you have to post this. It's yeah. the funniest thing I've ever seen. One of those moments in, in there it was. She, then she said, what is that? I, I look like a man, but, but I'm not. I'm a girl. And that that is so, that's so our cute. cute. So cute. Her personality so cute. just shines through. Yes. Oh, no. Quick question though. Yes. Do you think she's going to get the acting book? Like her deity? I hope not. I hope not. Oh, really? I didn't find it until after college. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I grew up normal. I think oh uh, acting's a hard business. You're judged on how you look, you're judged on uh, uh, things that you. Oof. That aren't a, areas that you can control. Yeah. And uh, if I was going to, if she has a big interest in entertainment, I would I'd suggest voiceovers. Wow. It's a great way. It's not about your appearance. Mm -hmm. The kids can make their tapes from home. If they you've got, if they have some acting ability, it comes out in their voice anyway, yeah, and they yeah. can start that way and see if they even like the schedule. That's Are good. Are you very yeah. about the whole child star stigma that's associated with? Your yeah, I've, I mean, I've worked with a lot of uh, a lot of kids, and it's it's hard for them. And the most grounded, normal kid I've ever worked with was the kid that does the voice for Daniel Tiger. Mm -hmm. oh. He didn't even know he was an actor, but he had been working since he was eight. Wow. And he was the most humble. He made my daughter a little voicemail, and she freaked out. But regular kid could sit at lunch and talk to you for you know four hours and just be you know just. Be a kid. Right. Just average. Yeah. The little yes. kid that plays uh, uh, my son on Ambitions, his sister started with voiceovers. He started with voiceovers. This was his first acting audition. Very normal. He's not affected by the, the kids that go to a lot of auditions. Feel You can feel it. The pressure. Mm. You wow. can feel it. Mm. Yeah, to book the gig. Yeah, you know? that's what it is. They're, they're competitive in the wrong way. Yeah. Yes, early age. on. My goodness. Well, what's really good is that you seem to have a very um, healthy relationship with your wife. Yes. Yes. You gloat every time you talk about it. You just, your face just lights up, which is very yeah. cute. <laughs> But how do you keep the spark being Ooh, in such a hectic, you know, career choice and being so busy all you the time? Guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I follow my father's example and I put my family's Aww. first. Yes. Amen. Um, yeah, that's right. uh, I, I said my father passed last year and I thanked him um, at his funeral for, for giving me the example. And I remember when uh, one day we were going on a vacation and he and my stepmother got in an argument. And next thing I know, we were on a plane going home. Mm. And he was like, I can pick you up on Monday and fix it with you, but I need to fix it with her today. Mm. Because she's my everything, son. And someday you're going to meet a woman that makes you feel like that. Right. And when I met my wife, uh, and we had been dating for a while, one day I was sleeping, she was in my arms, and my dad said, you know, son. And it was, he was in the room what? just telling me, marry this woman. Oh, and wow. we, we got married, and I, I thanked him in his casket for, for making sure that I, that I held on to the right one, because that's, that's why I do everything. So yeah. I take Layla and Paula come with me down here to Atlanta to shoot Ambitions. They go with me everywhere I go. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, keep all the mess down, too. Absolutely. Oh, no, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. 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 It is. You just have to wait on it, folks. Yeah. You know, don't rush. Yeah. You know, I dated a lot of folks before I found Paula. She dated a lot of folks before she found me, but we were patient enough to wait for the one and to recognize uh, when we found each other and to put in that investment. And, and it, it is work. That but makes it's worth me it. very happy. It does. Oh, it does. That's so good. <laughs> Business. Let's get back to business. <laughs> so we're going to talk about ambitions. Yeah. Oh, you play the mayor. I mean, mm -hmm. Atlanta. Mayor Lancaster. And um, you do a really good job at that. Like I, I, I truly believe it. I do. You. Do you have any real uh, political interests in real life? Um, I don't think uh, being a politician is the best way to be effective. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, once you're you're in power, you're beholden to a lot of people. I worked as a surrogate for Barack Obama and for Eric Garcetti, mm -hmm. and I learned that mm -hmm. uh, by watching Bill Clinton give me my diploma at Dartmouth College. And I, I think I would rather be part of. 
I'd rather be a lobbyist than a politician. Mm. Lobbyists get the stuff done, it's a dirty game, but if you wanna yeah. get stuff done, there's other ways that are more effective than actually being in office, I think. My goodness, mm. okay. that's deep. So you, last month you received a personal invitation to Tyler Perry's big extravaganza. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look I at saw that. that. Wow, how My was wife that? and I were floored. I mean, look at this. Yes, I mean, the man is, uh, he has a greater purpose. He was absolutely put here by God wow. to move mountains. He, this is on slave oh land, gosh. the stage that I shoot, that we shoot ambitions in. Right. We are going to christen that stage. I think it's becoming the Denzel Washington stage. Wow. And uh, in October, we're gonna come back and, and, and be part of the celebration. And, and thank you to Tyler Perry for allowing my wife and I to be a small part of this, yes. this huge. Yeah. Absolutely. accomplishment that you've pulled off. Right. Brother. What's next for you, Brian? I mean, you have so many great things. Obviously, you got the new movie out and you are, you know, you're the behind the scenes. What What is next for you? What do you see, <laughs> Brian White, after winning your Emmy? <laughs> it's all about directing and producing and being content creator mm -hmm. for me because uh, there's a lot of stories that haven't been told. Yeah. Uh, Black Wall Street, yes. you know, being one of them. Ooh, uh, yep. Look at what's going so on cool. in the world. The reason we are here, <coughs> there's a lot of history behind it. And, and if you don't know where you came from, you can't possibly know where you're going. So I want to tell the Black Wall Street story. Yes. I want to tell the Harlem Hellfighters mm -hmm. stories. I mean, there were there were troops back in World War One. You know, brothers mm -hmm. speaking Italian, French, German mm -hmm. that were were protecting and serving and never got the credit for. It. We haven't heard their stories, so yeah. uh, I'm just going to make more stories, do more directing, do more acting, and, and keep doing good out there. Man, you are a godsend. My sure. dad, my goodness, you talk about Tyler Perry, we talk about you. I know that's doing right. your work. Yeah, keep definitely. doing great things. We love having you down to the circle. Yes. Remember to check out Dear Frank in theaters when it drops in November.